Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm here to show you how I do my facials at home without going to a salon or spa. So I start off by just making sure like any loose dirt is off my face, looking behind my ears, just to get everything so everything won't be on the washcloth. Um, I'll be using my Clarisonic. I guess I can do a small review on the Clarisonic. I really like it, it gets all the dirt like off of your face dirt that you think you may be getting off it gets everything off I'm using a deep pore cleanser that comes with the Clarisonic uh, you just start off by rinsing your face off with like warm water the sleep out of my eyes and just you know I just woke up and I apologize for that but that's just something you do to start off then after that, you get your Clarisonic and wet it a little bit and squeeze like a drop, not a drop, maybe like three drops of the cleanser on there. And then you just turn it on and begin to scrub your face with it. You start off in a circular motion and just, um, go all around your face i notice at first that um you don't really get a lather but when you start rubbing and scrubbing the lather will come and just make sure you get in like all the cracks and crevices of your face the clarisonic does have a timer on it for when you're supposed to go in the different zones of your face but i just clean whatever i feel needs to be cleaned the most so after that, um, I started off and I use it again just to go back over and make sure everything is clean, I guess. I don't know, it's just a reassurance thing for me. And I always get behind my ears. I do clean behind my ears every day, but like I said, this is more of a deeper clean. And I do this process once a week because I started to use the Clarisonic every day as instructed, but I noticed that my skin was raw and started to get real dry. So I've come to find out that once a week is good enough for me. I'm starting off with a fresh white washcloth. I showed you that to show you on how much dirt that the Clarisonic can get off your face. It is kind of nasty, but kind of satisfying at the same time, knowing that you're face is getting like real clean and there you go Ugh. yes all that dirt came off my face uh, just do one more last wipe to make sure everything else is off and get ready to start up your steamer I'm filling up my steamer all the way up to the max line, that red line at the top. And then you turn it on. So the steam's about to start coming out. And once it starts to come out, you just push your face over it and let the steam just open up your pores. One thing you can do if you do not have a steamer is get a pot, boil it with water, and put a towel over your head and just, well, turn the pot off. You don't want to have your face over like boiling hot water. Put the towel over your head and just let the steam from the hot water just come over your face. Uh, I have a steamer and it has a face attachment, so I just use that. I really like it you just um, the reason why I washed my face with the Clarisonic before is because when you steam your face it opens up your pores so if you have dirt just sitting on top of your face all that dirt's gonna go into your open pores when you start to steam so make sure you at least do some type of cleaning before you steam your face I um I like to get the bottom of my face the most because that's where I get a lot of my breakouts for some reason. So I steam and then after that, I follow up with some type of mask. I'm 
I take a washcloth and just rub my skin, my lips. Uh, the steam does help get a lot of the loose dead skin off your lips. So it can be kind of a facial for your lips as well. Here's my fresh face. Um, it's very cool. So the steam was hot. So when you are done, you do get a cool, refreshed face. I'm not done yet though. I'm going to finish up with a mask. The reason why you want to hurry up and put the mask on right after steaming is because your pores are still open and you'll get the full effect of the mask. I'm using Shea Moisture's African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. Um, it says that it helps absorb excess oil and improve appearance of troubled skin. And it says to keep on for up to 10 minutes and remove with a damp towel. So here I am squeezing the mask out. It's kind of cold and probably like lotion consistency. I'm just going to rub this on my face and not necessarily a circular motion but just avoid your eyes well if you want it in your eyes go ahead but I didn't want it in my eyes so I avoided my eyes and just rub around all over your face and then just chill for 10 minutes and then come back So here I am, 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, spots on where I piled a lot of it, there's still like damp spots like on my nose. So that's one thing that I would try to avoid because I don't even know if the mask even penetrated right there because it was so much right there. But it's okay. I'm just going to wipe it off with a damp cloth it was very easy to come off I did have to sit it on my face for a couple seconds but it was okay it wasn't like very bad I've used a lot of masks and this one was pretty easy to take off So now I'm going to start my finishing with Botanics Cleansing Toner All Bright. Um, I like this toner. The, I see a difference in my skin as for brightening. Um, it also gets any dirt that may be left on my face. After all, I just did. Uh, it's really not a lot of dirt left on, but just in case, I like to finish up with a toner. It uh, does give you a cool effect as well. And I'm also going to finish up with my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafira Oil. I, uh, I like this because I wanted to put honey on my face, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to put honey on my face. It just made me think bugs were going to be in my bathroom. So I saw that that had honey on it. So I put it on my face and I really liked it. Um, that's all. That's all I do. My face looks a lot bright brighter and a lot shinier and all that dead skin is gone thank you guys so much for watching my video and i'll see you next time